Yes, now, sir. you know what? Celine Dion may be a little upset because there is a new hot selling ticket on the Las Vegas Strip. So tourists are paying top dollar to see Canada's favorite sport. Yeah, that's right. Vegas Sin City has a hockey team, an NHL team, Francis, and the Golden Knights, as they're called, are not expected to be the best team in the NHL this year, but they're quickly becoming the hottest ticket. According to data compiled by Bloomberg News, the Vegas Golden Knights are the best selling team on StubHub right now, with nearly twice as many tickets resold as the next closest team. The average selling price above 134 bucks. Why is this? Well, it's all about tourists in the city looking for something to do, and it's about fans wanting to travel to see their team and wanting to go to Vegas along the way. About 80% of the tickets sold are coming from outside the state of Nevada, and it's Canadian hockey fans are planning on going down. Francis, the Leafs go into Vegas on New Year's Eve uh -huh. this year, and tickets to that game are already quickly approaching $200 Canadian for up in the balcony, up in the cheap seats. And now you can see why the NHL was pushing for Vegas. Makes sense. Big money. Big mm -hmm. money going to be made down there. So the iPhone 8 uh, went on sale today. Uh, did anyone notice? Because there didn't seem to be a lot of crowds around no. uh, here in Toronto. No crowd control needed. City News was at the Eaton Centre at the Apple Store there. And as you can see, yeah, there were a few people excited, clapping, ready for the iPhone 8. But it wasn't like in years past where you had big lines. In fact, most of the people clapping were the Apple employees. Uh, the iPhone 8, uh, it did see weaker than usual pre-orders. It's probably the case that many are waiting for the iPhone 10. It goes on sale in a month and it has more features. The iPhone 8, they say, really it only has two significant upgrades over the iPhone 7, that being a better camera and wireless charging. Apple stock taking a bit of a hit this week, down for three straight sessions, Francis. So on this next story, I don't know if it's good customer service or just downright creepy. Walmart is now offering to uh, get your groceries, deliver them, but also put them directly in your fridge. Yeah. Do you want some stranger in there rooting Do around you? your, your <laughs> fridge? Well, if I don't have to put it away, you know, uh -huh. maybe that's a selling point. So, yeah, Walmart's testing the service out in California right now where you order your groceries online and then the guy shows up to your door. There's a special lock. Um, on your door and he has a code a one-time use code so he punches it in comes into your house puts everything away for you stocks up your pantry in your, your fridge uh, customers get a notification when the uh, driver uh, when the delivery man is uh, done walmart's been making major investments in its e-commerce business to try and fend off amazon of course amazon recently buying whole foods no word if the service is coming to Canada anytime soon, Francis. Yeah, you better have some cameras in your house to make sure he's not, uh, you know, venturing into your bedroom or... Yeah, he might leave anywhere. the milk might leave the milk and then take your cell phone or something like that. Yeah, no like kidding. That. <laughs> so uh, Ford is using new augmented reality technology uh, to design its cars. How does it work? Well, I want to show it to you. It's pretty cool. So Microsoft has what they call the hollow lens. It's this pair of goggles and it overlays virtual things over what you're actually looking at. And so uh, Ford is using hollow lens to let it designers quickly model out changes to its cars and trucks and SUVs. It allows the designers to see the changes on top of an existing vehicle instead of the traditional way they did this, which was with a clay model. So it's a lot quicker. A number of other companies also using HoloLens for designing and for training employees. You can actually buy a developer kit for this if you want to try it out yourself. Cost 3000 bucks, but this could be the way of the future. In fact, the new iPhone's using some augmented reality like that as well. Pretty neat. So, uh, Faisal Amin on City News these last uh, couple of days have been doing uh, a couple of stories on uh, air conditioners, you know, complaints that uh, buildings haven't been uh, turning them on because of these heat. But you're looking into the history of AC and why it's critical for modern living and business. Yeah, you know, I got thinking about it because we were so hot today. So I got thinking, boy, air conditioning is so important, I was thinking. Mm -hmm. and it, it's true, Francis. And it traces its roots, modern air conditioning, back to 1902. Workers at a printing factory in New York City were fed up with the muggy summer air, which kept ruining their paper. So they tasked a young engineer to fix the problem. His name was Willis Carrier. Yes, that carrier. He devised a system to circulate air over coils that were cooled by compressed ammonia. And his machine was first fired up on 
July 17th, 1902, the first air conditioner was born. And, you know, air conditioners, it's transformed cities. We couldn't have the big skyscrapers we have now without air conditioning. The people at the top would be broiled. Before air conditioning, ice blocks were harvested from lakes in the summertime and kept uh, in the wintertime and kept all summer. But that was an issue because there was pollution in the lakes. And when the ice blocks melted, the air would smell bad. So air conditioning, a very important invention if you have it. But as you say, Faiza Amin pointing out all the buildings that have not only don't have air conditioning, but are turning the heat on I know. too early. So it's been an issue. And wait, air conditioning was invented in Buffalo? It was, that's right. I forgot to mention yeah. that. Uh, Willis uh, Carrier first turned on his first air conditioner in Buffalo. So pretty close to us. They should brand it for tourism, the coldest city in the U.S. Home to chicken <laughs> wings and air conditioning. And air conditioning. Our Hot two favorite things. And cold air. <laughs> See? I love it. We should you be gotta, working for uh, Tourism Buffalo. Tourism Buffalo. We'll get, <laughs> get them to buy some time on City. There you go. So most uh, food manufacturers are really rushing uh, to take out artificial flavors and colors. We know that's happening uh, with a lot of the Loblaws brands as well. But one is actually uh, thinking we got to put it back in. Yeah. Uh, silly Rabbit, artificial flavors are for kids. It's tricks cereal. Uh, they will once again be made with artificial dyes and flavors. Nearly two years after General Mills pulled out those ingredients, uh, the company uh, switched to natural sources for color like turmeric and strawberries. But apparently, uh, customers miss the vibrant colors in the cereal. And so back in the artificial colors go, Francis. Tricks back to its old tricks. Back to being unhealthy and uh, <laughs> red dye instead of beet juice, I guess. Yummy, yeah. yummy. Okay, so this weekend, uh, where are the gas prices moving? Going down a penny at midnight tonight, and that'll bring mm -hmm. the average in Toronto down to about a dollar eleven point nine. Okay. You keep cool and have a good weekend. Not friends. bad. You too, Richard. Take care. Thanks.